AlphaZero, a computer program created by DeepMind, was tasked with mastering the games of Go, Shogi and Chess. After just 9 hours of training, AlphaZero played 44 million games of chess against itself. And even after just 4 hours of training, AlphaZero reached levels no human has ever reached when it comes to playing chess. So in December of 2017, we saw something iconic happen. AlphaZero battled with Stockfish, a computer program considered as the number one chess engine in the world. In this video, I'm going to explain in simple terms how the technology worked which enabled AlphaZero to defeat Stockfish, as well as addressing some of the controversy regarding the matchup. You don't need to know anything about programming to watch this video. Heck, if your chess helo is only 400, that's completely fine, because I'll look to explain everything as simply as possible. In its simplest form, artificial intelligence, or AI for short, is technology that simulates human intelligence, including interpreting as well as acting on information. AI is used because even though computers need a lot more training compared to humans, in terms of, for example, being able to distinguish a cat from a dog, they can process huge amounts of information way faster than us humans can even fathom. So how was AI used in AlphaZero? AlphaZero used something called a Convolutional Neural Network, or CNN for short. This CNN computer system is based on the human brain. They're made up of components called artificial neurons, because like the neurons in our brain, they receive input from other neurons, process it and produce an output. CNNs are great for recognizing patterns. So let's explain how the CNN worked in AlphaZero. Okay, so let's start with the input. Given a chessboard is an 8x8 board, it means it has 64 squares. With this, you can program the state of a chessboard. This can include data points like which chess pieces are on which squares. And in chess, every square can be identified by a letter and a number. Now this input data is converted to numerical data. Now the goal of a convolutional layer is to recognize patterns from input data using something called filters. Each filter extracts a single pattern from the input provided to it. So an example of a filter in chess terms could be to recognize the pawn structure of your opponent. So let's show a simple example of how a convolutional neural network can detect a pattern. Say for example, the number seven. The left hand grid is the input data set. The numbers in this matrix show the individual pixels of the image. We have one filter which we have defined as a 3x3 matrix with some values. And what we do is we take the first subset 3x3 matrix from the input, we multiply this by our filter matrix, which is called matrix multiplication, and store this result in the top left of our second matrix. We then scan the next set of 3x3 matrix from the input, and do the exact same thing. Now with this second matrix as the output, we mainly want to focus on where there is a value. This is called pooling, which reduces the size of the feature map. All of this helps extract a pattern. One computers would be able to say like us humans, that looks like the number seven. So that's a very simple example of how a pattern can be detected using convolutional layers. By repeating the process for different patterns and combining everything together, AlphaZero is able to interpret the pattern of a chessboard at any given moment. Okay, so we know that AlphaZero is able to detect patterns, but how does it know to actually make good moves? And the answer to this is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning was a great choice here, because rather than teaching the computer how to play a complex game like chess, we actually give the computer program the opportunity to learn and actually play better chess than humans can, because even the best of chess players don't know how to play the game perfectly. Rather, it makes more sense for the computers to figure it out, starting with a completely blank slate. AlphaZero would learn how to play chess by playing millions and millions of games against itself. AlphaZero's goal is to win the game of chess, and he used something called the Monte Carlo Tree Search. Because AlphaZero started with a blank slate, it meant that it had no prior knowledge of openings, middle games, or end games. It was only effectively programmed to play the game just by knowing the rules. So taking an example, let's say AlphaZero is looking at it from the perspective of playing as black. After white plays e4, this is the start of a famous chess opening known as a Kara Khan. All you need to recognize is that once a move is made, the opponent can respond by making a whole host of different moves. AlphaZero from Black's perspective could either win the game, lose a game, or draw the game. And with AlphaZero's goal to win every time, it would update its actions based on the result of the game. To keep this simple, imagine that both Black and White have played moves against each other, and it comes down to the final set of moves. And let's say after this game is played out, AlphaZero's Black actually wins the game. Now because it's won, all the moves which have been made by AlphaZero playing as Black will reflect this. Each of the moves that AlphaZero played as Black will have the probability of taking this action updated and the value for how good this move was updated to essentially reflect that these were a good set of actions to take. And the next time it comes around, 
it should probably take these actions again. After playing 44 million games against itself, AlphaZero acquired a huge amount of data. It had learned, given the state of a chessboard, what the optimal move to make was. AlphaZero was able to search 80,000 positions per second. Now, even though that's a lot of searching by AlphaZero, it's almost an order of magnitude less than the number of searches Stockfish could do in one second. AlphaZero was more focused on selecting the most promising chess positions. Now, one of the most fascinating things about AlphaZero is that it discovered and played common chess openings independently. AlphaZero had discovered openings such as the Rui Lopez, the Queen's Gambit, the Karakhan, and even the King's Indian to play such a large number of chess games where each game requires a huge amount of calculation. AlphaZero needed some seriously powerful hardware. So let's talk about tensor processing units or TPUs for short. These are basically integrated circuits made by Google which are designed to support intense computation for a neural network. Now they're ideal for use cases like this because as we saw earlier, there's a lot of calculations like matrix multiplication which needs to be undertaken. Now as opposed to normal central processing units or CPUs for short, which are in our laptops and computers, TPUs are able to perform way more calculations than CPUs can because many sets of matrices can be multiplied at the exact same time without the need for constantly going into memory. So for AlphaZero's training, it used 64 TPUs. But after the training was completed and when it came down to the actual match with Stockfish, AlphaZero ran on just four TPUs. Stockfish was allocated 64 threads and out of 100 games between the two, which were timed at one minute per game, AlphaZero won 28 times and didn't lose once. But when they played without resource or time constraints, in a series of 12 100 game matches, AlphaZero won 290, drew 886 times, and lost just 24 times. So how did AlphaZero actually play the game of chess? What was its style like? AlphaZero would often sacrifice material for long-term positional advantage, like the famous Mikhail Tal, now, even though Stockfish didn't really get the better of AlphaZero, it should not be ridiculed by any means. It is important to mention the power of the hardware used by AlphaZero is significantly greater than the hardware used by Stockfish. So one could argue it wasn't really a fair fight. In the Top Chess Engine Championships, which is a computer chess engine tournament, Stockfish has been a consistent winner, winning at the time of recording the last six championships. But at the same time, we shouldn't disregard the brilliant software design by the DeepMind team behind AlphaZero because AlphaZero was an absolute tank. AlphaZero didn't even just conquer chess, it conquered Shogi and even more complicated games like Go, all based on this architecture. Stockfish is a free, open source chess engine, which means its code is publicly available for review. AlphaZero on the other hand is not, so don't even bother to download it if you're trying to get better at chess. King me. If you've made it this far, you've definitely gained some IQ points by watching this video. And hopefully you understand the fundamental concepts of how AlphaZero was actually able to defeat Stockfish. Thank you for watching.